All right. Hey guys, Josh Bernie back here again with another special unboxing video. But today I'm actually joined by a few people today. Today I am joined by. And. And also. Absolutely. And I actually have a special unboxing that was sent by one of the people in the VC here. But thank thank you, Antonio. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> it was it was Antonio. So shout out shout out shout out to you. You have a version 15. You have a sweet. Sweet. I noticed that. Mm hmm. I, I'm starting. Ooh. And then this is an EH that's modded, right? Sweet. <clears throat> so, I actually got a special HH. So, let's unbox this to see what kind of HH it is. No, I'm not spoiling it right now. Yeah, version 14, the rarest HH. Officially gotten it out of the package and Officially pressed all the buttons and others so Yeah, I'm gonna... Sometimes when I dick around, I can actually go 
have a spring inside of the antenna shaking around. Ooh. It's supposed to be like that, kind of. Fun fact about it. Since, since, since the antenna is literally a spring, that means you can't break it, like, literally. You, you can have to cover up. Yeah, I mean, but the, but the physical antenna itself won't break. The same thing applies to the Radio Shack handhelds, just because, just because, um, just because it doesn't the middle of the I can't freaking speak right now. It's okay. Oh. Oh. So, without further ado. I was watching A12 522 not so long ago, but it has since been sold. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to look out for one. Those things are pretty good. Stars! 5 to 2. Woohoo! Anyways, let's officially put the. Version 0 0.015. Version 15. My first, my very first ever version 15, Midland HH54. I'm gonna put this on the battery charger real quick. I found out how to reset these things. How? Yeah, for all y'all that don't know who, all y'all wondering out there, how the heck do I reset one of these handhelds? Well, I will simply show you. <coughs> this may be a little tricky with one hand, but I can try to. Actually, you know what? I can do this super quick. Let me grab my trusty power station right here with Noah built in it. Fun fact, that thing also has 1050 detection, too. Sweet. Yeah, it doesn't have a siren, though, but it kind of does what those Oregon scientific ones do, and it just clicks onto it. All right. I got to turn the cord out. Ouch. Okay, that's so cursed. Here we go. Yeah, there's a whole tangle of wires down here. <clears throat> also, I noticed that you posted a video recently, Antonio. Yeah, Antonio has been pump, has been putting out some videos lately. I, I just saw one where his camera fell. Congratulations. Even though the WR30 and the 7421 look the same, there's a couple of differences. Look it up. Yeah, like Antonio pointed out. And it's the menu. You have to hold down the menu button. Oh, and the WR30 also has a test beat. Yeah, and also the WR30 has a disabled watch, but the 7421 has a disabled warning. Alright, so I'm going to hold down these two buttons. So, those are also some differences. Ah, crap, this didn't work. It's okay. Take two. Anyway, Boop. Anyway, let's go ahead and push these buttons down and turn it on. Ah, hard head. Hang on, this thing's screaming. It's getting in my way. Let me guess, is the WX snooze and the volume up? I do, turn on this time. There we go. This is done up. Watch this. Officially factory reset. Channel. Same set, any. Single. Same. <clears throat> so, while Smoke Alarm is going through his HH. I'm going to take a quick look. I'm going to go through mine. So, time. Alright. I'm actually going to set this sig significantly ahead, about 15 minutes, so. Because. Alright, alarm off channel. Alright. Which is not a Midland battery pack. I literally took three of these energizing ones and I took the dime to the back and pushed the button down. Interesting. Very smart and it, thinking. And it works, believe it or not. Like, it actually works. 
Awesome. <clears throat> so back to the HH here. We've set up the time, oh, figure out the alarm and the channel. Six three. Men's goal six three. Yay! Done. Game's over. The game is over. Game's over, man, at this point. Pens win. With like ten seconds left, we score six three. We win. <coughs> so channel. GG. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so channel I have selected to 7, which is KEC74, aka the National Weather Service da NWS station in Indianapolis. Yay, the game's over. Win -win. Yes. Let's go back. Same set, any alert type, tone, display and voice, set it to voice, alert test and light, backlight on and time. It's okay. I've I've for the most part finished up setting up the HH. Interesting, and I actually have two version 16s, and I officially have a version 15 now. Waiting for the time to turn to 8:41, so I can set the time up, so it'll be kind of correct. Yeah. Right. I have a thing where, like, if I I have a thing where, like, if I go to, if I reset a radio, then I have to wait for like the next minute to set the start. Time. And I almost missed it, but I got it. Sweet. I'll try to. I'll try to see if I can swing. Up. The EAR ten WH. I've done that a lot with my EAR 10 WH, which some of you know is right here. Congratulations. Congratulations, Antonio. Something I'd like to point out, can I smile where you can, where you can just see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the custom-made EAR-10WH. Yeah, the custom-made one. Except the red backlight. I hope you all have enjoyed this unboxing video. Again, this is off for this this is off for a reason, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Hey Antonio, show me show me your V two VNS. This one here. Isn't that the rarest version of the WR one hundred? Well, these two are in a tie, the white V one and the V two black and silver. 
I figured, and I actually do have a WR100, but it's a version 3. It's okay. <clears throat> Hang on, I just left the app. It's okay. Man, you have custom. You you've made custom made a lot, or at least received a lot of custom made. Sweet. All right. All right. <clears throat> Max Digital, the original, the original Capello, which was it, which this was made before the Capello CR2W. And Smoke Alarm has the Max Digital, and I have the Capello. I mean, it could be true. I mean, they do look very similar. Kind of. Yeah, and the Capello also has, also has that. Enthusiast, like AKA SDR Safety, who has one of these radios. But his, his is different from the, all the other ones that I've seen. How? Oh. Whenever he does the alert test, it does something like this. What I've noticed with the Prince is that whenever he does the alert test, it lights the lights up first, and then it plays the tone. Oh. Very interesting. So uh, that's gonna pretty much conclude the unboxing video of the Midland HH54 version 15. So thank you so much, Antonio, for this, and you're welcome for and you're welcome for giving one of your radios to me and for me officially getting a version 15 <clears throat> i've actually been wanting one of these since i saw ari get hers back in what like 2019 or something i don't remember when she got hers And my first HH was a B16 that I got in 2018. So, Sweet. yeah. I got my first version, I got my first HH back in February of 2020. I just made a three-part okay, stream okay. about it. There's my very small fire alarm collection. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any fire alarms in my eight. In my yeah, area. So you moved it across the room and it picked up signal. Yeah. That was the same case with my WR10 that I have right here. It wasn't getting a good signal, so I moved it across the room and it now picks up a signal just fine. WR10 has a very comically short antenna. Yeah, true. I mean, if you want a short, antenna, I guess you should get some ER10VP. I mean, that may be something I get. That may be something that might occur, but probably not. The V2 ER10VP, which comes in a red box instead of the blue one. Ooh. And I am currently watching a V1 of those on eBay at the moment. 
Nice. Since eBay is where I usually get all my rare radios from, um, except for one, which was the WR10, which I got off of Mercari. Yeah. I, I, this, there was a, there was a, there was a CKWT that I went not too long ago, but someone has bought it. It's okay. And, and I found that one, and I was, in that one time when I found that, that I missed the black and silver listing on eBay, I was just, I was kind of angry because I never was notified that they could not have a search save. Mm -hmm. Recently, though, I was notified of a new unboxed CKW2000. Sweet. Yeah, since I heard that, I think it was, I don't remember who it was, but I served up, I saved the WX268, and I, I never got notified of it, and then someone bought it. Me, probably, because I, I got it, but it's just like, 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 well, I had one in 2020, but then it became a piece of shit, so I gave it away. And then I managed to get one, like, two weeks ago. Yeah. Just like Nicholas's current Dynex 268, it's kind of just falling apart now. Ouch. So far, the only radio I've had that's fallen apart is my WR100 version 5, which kind of worked on arrival, but literally only a couple days after, it died. And I have not fixed it since. Yeah. That, that's the same story of my first weather, well, the radio that got me into collecting my 2008 V5. It was DOA. Dead on arrival? Mm hmm. When I, whenever I first plugged it in, it, it was working just fine, but then, like, a couple minutes later, it was squealing. Yeah, my, my WR100 is completely silent. I'm not gonna smash mine with a hammer, though. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that to mine. I'm gonna try and repair it. Although I accidentally could chow the antenna recently on it. Ooh. Yeah, I, I pulled a, I pulled a cord out of the outlet very hard, and it, it smacked right into it. Oof. It's got a pretty big dent in it, and it's noticeably bent. Ouch. But I think that's going to do I it. Plus, hmm? I already have to get a new antenna for my 2012 WR120 because it's little, the whole thing is literally slanted. Uh oh. Dang. It still works though. I, I still can't figure out how that happened. It's okay. But that's going to do it for the unboxing. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, really. All right, Good anything luck. else? Anything else, Smoke Alarm? Good luck. Thank you very much. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye-bye, everyone.